I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Sagittarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or in the future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? You have between the lines. Then you have unfinished business. We have signs of synchronicities. Divine timing. So somebody was supposed to not know something. Something was supposed to stay hidden. This was supposed to keep a person in um, a certain pattern. And this could have been a negative pattern. And this is why they somebody wanted something to stay hidden. That was um, <clears throat> supposed to happen. Like they were trying to keep somebody waiting. In the middle of divine timing. Like this was the perfect time for someone to do something or to see something. They were receiving a lot of messages from the universe. Different hints. And somebody was trying to like keep that person like in this merry-go-round. Like a back and forth type of energy. So this could stay hidden. Something that they were supposed to do. You have magnetic attraction. You didn't have snake. So somebody was trying to get a person to be in the energy of lust. Um, they were trying to keep that person in this energy of being able to tempt that person. This person would never stop some type of negative pattern and they would just constantly be going back and forth with them. They didn't want something to be over. They wanted that person to always feel like it was some type of unfinished business between um, them. And this was to hold this person up from something that they were supposed to be doing. You have unexpected. And you have soulmate. So somebody just did not expect to... Find out that another person had like a twin flame, like they have a soul contract, a soul connection with another person. This was a shock to them. So they have been being very deceptive, like very sneaky. Trying to keep another person tempted, like in a lustful energy. You have party. And then you have hookup. This could be someone that um, is like a one night stand type of energy. You know, that person is someone who likes to party. They like to go out and they're the type of person that, you know, they enjoy stringing that person along. They enjoy um, casually hooking up with that person, having a one night stand with that person and keeping them in a lustful energy. You have legal matters. Now, if they were attached to whoever this energy is, um, the snake energy they could have ended up going through some type of unexpected legal matter that they didn't see coming. You have date. And then you have anxiety. Yeah, they were stressing about this person dating another person. You know, getting in a relationship with another person. This could have been definitely like a toxic attachment, toxic relationship. Um, and it cost them a lot, like financially. Not only did this toxic relationship cost them a lot where they were going through a lot of, um, financial karma, you have divine intervention, but it could have, somebody could have gotten wrapped up in some type of legal matter behind this person or being attached to this person. Because they didn't want this person to date another person. So they could have been doing a lot of deceptive things behind the scenes to keep that person, you know, attached to them through lust. Because they knew something was supposed to happen at a certain time. But it brought a lot of karma to this person, a lot of money problems. And um, now they're stressed out.
because this is somebody who just did not want something to change. They wanted something to stay hidden. They wanted that person to, you know, just constantly go back and forth with them. Be strong along. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, yeah. This is definitely someone that um, they were trying to keep that person in a passionate energy. And then you have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Like, keep them in a lustful energy. That person will always be in the energy of um, chasing them down or, you know, connecting with them without thinking. Yeah, they would always be able to charm this person and keep that person feeling trapped to them with the Eight of Swords through lust. You have the Four of Pentacles. This was to control this person so they could feel, you know, stuck. But that person could have started going through a lot of karma and this had that person in the energy where they, you know, they had to hold back. They had to start budgeting. They had to, you know, take some type of control over their financial stability. Yeah, because this person could have been needing this person for finances. But once this person started going through money problems, this person got stressed out. Because it's like they knew that this person was going through some type of karma for being attached to them, but they didn't want that person to know. They wanted to keep all of this hidden. You have the chariot. Whatever obstacle they tried to throw at that person, if this was a legal situation, they're moving forward. It's like that person have gained a lot of self-control and a lot of um, self-discipline. They're more focused now. Yeah, the Six of Wands. It's like that person still came out having victory. You have the Hangman. This person could have thought that they would be able to um, hold on to this person so they could have some type of success. You know, they would get clout or they would win in life, but this just was not the case. Yeah, they're in regret. It's like they're sad. They didn't know that this would, this would not work. This is sad. It's like somebody sat back and researched a, a um, twin flame connection and um, was trying to keep another person at a stalemate while they were supposed to be doing something. Because they felt like they would have some type of success with this person. It's like this energy viewed the twin flame connection as a, a, um, a way for them to get up, a way for them to win. A way for them to be seen in certain lights that's not their own. Yeah, and it's like they've defeated their self, sabotaged their self, thinking that they could sabotage a twin flame connection. Yeah, they did not think that they would go through divine intervention. They didn't think that that person would go through divine intervention while they're not knowing, you know, something was hidden. You have the Ace of Pentacles. And then you have the Strength card. You have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, they felt like they would be able to control this person if this person did not communicate with you. Um, this person didn't talk to you or something like that. The plan was to just keep that person delayed. But um, this person, if they found out the truth, like if they're um, seeing that you're their soul, I mean, you're their twin flame and something is supposed to happen at a certain time and they needed to see something, like this is why they went through the karma that they went through with this person, they're realizing something was just bad timing. But it has helped that person grow with strength card being here. This has definitely helped this person um, get more insight or overcome whatever this was. Get more insight about um, something that they're supposed to be doing at a certain time. And why that person was trying to like keep them stuck. So they didn't know as they were trying to delay this person that was supposed to happen. 
because this person, they weren't paying attention to something that was hidden. So it's like they had to go through karma, learn some type of lesson so they would be able to overcome whatever this, this blockage was that was trying to keep them restricted. You have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody definitely needed to um, move on from something and um, do some self-analyzing, self-reflecting. Look at things on a deeper level, like a higher perspective. It's like this outcome has this person looking at something a whole nother way. They look at that person a whole nother way. If they were drawn to this person by lust, easy to be tempted by that person, they no longer see that person that way. It's like somebody have learned from some type of mistakes. This person taught them a valuable lesson while they were trying to keep them like stuck. You have the three of swords. Yeah, somebody is hurt because another person is walking away from some type of confusion or a trap that they tried to um, set them in. You have the queen of cups and then the eight of pentacles. Yeah, and it's like if you're someone that is this person's twin, that person is hurt because while they were doing all of this, you were focusing on you. You were um, not focusing on that person, which is your twin, but you, you're you very intuitive. It's like you could have knew that person was your twin and you decided to work on yourself. You could have, you know, started a business or something like that, or this could have been a new goal that was set. You were committed and dedicated to something else, or this could have just been, you know, focusing on healing and self-love. But that person feel like you've been waiting for whoever your twin is. So this is why they were strategically like trying to keep that person trapped. This person would never know that you're their twin and they would always feel like it was something between them, um, them and whoever this deceptive energy is that kept them running after this person or, you know, going back and forth with this person. Yeah. You have the lovers. Yeah, it's like they, they found out about this spiritual connection and they this person just was doing a lot of stuff to try to sabotage the connection like intentionally. This is someone that did not want. It's like they feel like you're waiting for this person. But this person do not realize that you're someone that's focusing on yourself. You're working on yourself. If this is a twin flame connection, you could have separated yourself from another person and you were just focusing on you after you removed that person from your life. Whoever was attached to your twin, they did not want them to know that they were someone that they needed to detach from. You have engagement ring. So this is something this person definitely needed to, um, they're realizing they needed to complete. Another reason why this person is um, feeling like something was bad timing with them coming towards you or um, connecting with you while they were attached to this person because they were in a very immature energy. That person was driven by lust. And they didn't know that another person was like trying to keep them binded to lust. So they would never, you know, be in this connection with you, with the lovers being here. There would never be a true partnership between you and that person. They wouldn't be able to come in union with you and they would never complete whatever they needed to complete with this energy. Yeah, it's like somebody was in this, this seductive energy with um, seduction here. Like if this was a third party. But yes, they've made this person look at things a whole nother way. It's like they're thankful they didn't come towards you or come at you in this type of energy 
they've learned this, the um, lesson that they needed to learn to end it out with whoever this energy is. You have paradise. And then you have love call. This person wants to get away with you or do something with you, spend time with you. Um, they just want to be happy in this playful energy with you. It's like they've been thinking about you and they want to express the way they feel. Yeah, they want to get, get together and just enjoy time with you. You have healthier choices. Yeah, it's like now that this person have, you know, they're more happy. They're more, they're like in a more happier energy now that they chose their self, like to take care of their self, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities of another person. Yeah. You have heart with the key. Now this person is wanting to um, open their heart to you. They feel like you're the perfect one to open their heart to. You have lightning. And somebody is shocked. They're shocked because of a transformation. If this snake energy is someone that was secretly like, you know, competing with you, they thought they were very clever. Um, they were, you know, this was the other woman or the other, you know, man Somebody that you did not know of, but they were attached to that person. They're shocked over a transformation. If they've watched you work on yourself, they're hurt. Because that person was in a very seductive energy trying to compete with you. While you were too focused on self-love, taking care of yourself, being more happier, making healthier choices in love and in life. Yeah, it's like you operate out of love energy. Another person was operating out of lust. And they thought that they would be, you know, able to compete with you, confuse this person and keep something hidden. This didn't work. It's like that person have learned a lesson of um between lust and love. Yeah, and they chose to end something out. Coffin is here. This has helped them change and transition. Yeah, they realize whoever this energy is was just not enough for them. That person just frustrated them. They look at that person as someone that um, sabotaged their self. That person has some type of issues that they have to deal with that this person cannot help them with. This person is someone that's very jealous hearted. That person lacked their own self-confidence because they felt like they needed to act like you, copy you, compete with you. And it frustrated that person. Yeah, the hammer. Yeah. And it's like that person kept doing it. Like they were persistent with the hammer being here. And it only it only made them sabotage something. Whatever they were trying to keep this person stuck to, it sabotaged it. If that person was attracted to them and, or, you know, in the energy where they were lusting after them, that came to a complete end. Everything just changed. Because it's something was just, that wasn't enough for them to offer them anymore with not enough being here. 